There's plenty of time it goes in the November issue, yes. which comes no, out in October. It's not exciting in terms of what the you know, so there's little tasks that people can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the wall is much the same. Yeah. Excellent. First, can I introduce the president? Hey, I didn't see that. Nice to meet you. You must be a Dave, Dave. 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 That's right. Yes. Are you going to give me a warm welcome? Of course I will. Good to see you. I wasn't sure whether it was you or Dave. No, no, not me. All right. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. And people have kind of talked to you. Donated their 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 things. They did equipment and things. They did equipment and IT. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, we just... A warm welcome to everybody, ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Wilson, and I'm president of the Radio Society of Great Britain, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here today to the official opening of the National Radio Centre. The RSGB National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park is one of the Society's largest financial investments. Its aim is to showcase radio communications technology as a force powering the 21st century economy and to present amateur radio as an exciting, stimulating, educational and multifaceted hobby which provides a sound technical grounding in radio communications for use for those within its ranks. In short, the National Radio Centre here at Bletchley Park is a facility to inform, educate and entertain uh, about the technologies of, uh, of radio communication. So it's now my very great pleasure to ask the Minister to open the, the Centre, ladies and gentlemen, Ed Vexley. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to congratulate the Radio Society of Great Britain on creating this amazing National Radio Centre, which I think will do an enormous amount to spread the knowledge about the history of radio and its continuing importance in the 21st century. First of all, I think the Radio Society of Great Britain is an amazing organisation. Uh, it is, I suppose, technically populated by amateurs, but actually it's full up to the brim uh, with technical professionals uh, who have uh, worked together to create this amazing centre, funded it to the tune of a quarter of a million, collected some amazing exhibits and really achieved a great deal. But of course the Radio Society of Great Britain also does a lot more in terms of licensing uh, radio amateurs. Looking around the room it seems to attract a certain demographic, but there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Uh, so that is absolutely uh, fantastic. And I think what really appeals to me about the work that the Radio Society of Great Britain does uh, and its continuing work is the importance of introducing young people and children to technology. And I think what is so exciting about amateur radio uh, and about introducing kids and young people to uh, radio technology is that it gives them a great purpose. Learning things in an abstract way is always quite dull, it's easy to get, get put off and go and do something more interesting. But the ability to create something, to make something, and then pos the possibility of talking to somebody on the other side of the globe fills me, a middle-aged man, with huge excitement. So I think it should fill our kids with huge excitement. So I hope that I can work with the Radio Society of Great Britain in the future to try and uh, give some additional oomph to your work, to try and get more schools to look at what you're doing and to look at the opportunities. So I'll end by saying thank you as well to all the people who supported the National Radio Centre and its creation. Uh, private individuals giving their time, their money uh, or their objects uh, are hugely important. You've all played a massive role in creating uh, this centre. I'm a typical politician. I've come at the last minute to take the credit by standing on the podium. <laughs> really, I should be in the audience. All of you should be uh, on the podium. Thank you very much for creating this absolutely wonderful centre. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
it's it's great to have a centre here because it will attract visitors, but also it reminds people of radio's role in the Second World War. We had a lot of these, these small satellites are a really good opportunity to encourage and enthuse STEM. Uh, studies for the children. So I just wanted to say thank you for the brilliant. So well, so if you have the opportunity to speed it up, uh, <laughs> that's yeah. 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 And this is the RSGB's demonstration station. Put it back over to you. Whiskey One, uh, Alpha Whiskey. Uh, would if you, I don't know if you gave me the name, but I missed it the first time around. If you could again, this is uh, Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Sierra. Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Sierra. Oh, one more for that one. Thank you very much.